Hello, good morning friends. How are you? I'm happy to be here again today. I thank God for the new day. I believe you are also well wherever you are. And I thank you for being a part of this channel. You have really been a blessing to it. The growth, I cannot say, has been because of my effort, but because of you being part of it. <sighs> Today we had a little rain, and uh, when it rains, it is difficult for my grandchildren to play outside on the trampoline, the swings, and the slides. So I tried to bring something that is portable that I can put at the veranda. And uh, that is uh, some small jumping castle. So I'm trying to fix it so that they can play anytime they come here. I don't want them to be glued on TV watching some movies or even playing games. Because that is what the children of these days love. So that is why I decided to buy some things, outdoor games, so that they can be playing outside not inside and they love it so those of us who are here retired and god has blessed us with grandchildren let us try to buy them buy them things that can encourage them to play outdoors even if you don't have a compound you have some little room you can buy some uh, playing things like even the blocks they can build the blocks yeah, or even chess, something there that can build their mind, not just keep on playing, playing, playing in the, with the video games or watching TV. It is not healthy for their uh, growth, actually, and more so mental growth. So we are trying to figure out how to put this one in place. This is the first time I'm trying to put it. So the first one that came is five year old. He's really trying to help me if we can fix it. So we tried and tried and also it was start some dust. So the little one ran quickly to bring something to wipe it. As we were waiting, he was waiting for his cousin so that they can play together. So we finally figured out how to fix it. And then had to clean it for them to play. Joey, as usual, wanted to jump inside, but we, we tried to keep him out. He likes biting things and he can make a hole on this one very easily. So we keep it inside. We don't leave it outside. That is why this one particularly I don't leave outside because of Joey. Yeah, so we, my little one is really trying to keep him away so that it, it doesn't spoil. Oops, we realized we did not put it well, so we have to uh, undo it and put it well. Oh, the air is not getting in properly because it is a little bit twisted. So, we have to redo it. Thank God the young man is here to help, to give a hand. Keep involving them in doing everything you want to do. It really, they are always very happy to help. Sometimes we think they are so young, but they are very intelligent and they want to learn things that uh, we think they are not able to learn. Actually, one of the reasons why I started this channel is to create a, a memorable events for my grandchildren that even after I will be long gone, <laughs> they'll be able to remember that uh, there was once Danny, we used to do things together with uh, her. She bought us things that we used to play with. <sighs> and they will not forget this. So the young man is really struggling hard to make sure everything is in place. And uh, we have managed to put it right now. Now the air is uh, going in smoothly as opposed to before. 
and that is uh, a plus for him. He really wants us to finish this thing before his cousins come so that he tells them that I am the one who fixed this and you are not there. You just know how children like taking credit. So that is what he wants to do. So he's still trying to clean the inside which is a little bit dusty. And uh, I really like that because it's good teaching for him. Cleanliness is next to godliness. We have to teach them as young as they are. Train up a child as early as you can. Because when he grows up, he will never depart from it. So he's trying to jump inside if it is stable. And that is good. He's happy about it. And he's just looking forward for his cousins to come. The cousins arrived and also are trying to at least to fix something so that they also take credit, which is good. So they are jumping and they are happy. Even though the rains have stopped, the grass is still wet, so they will just continue playing inside here. You can see this, how people are competing to make sure that everything is in place. Whew, that's good. They also planted uh, an avocado here. Almost, was it two years ago? Yes, it was during COVID. So they keep on checking if it is growing. Which is very good for them to know that things don't just grow overnight. It also teaches, teaches them patience. So let us also make sure that you plant something and then they'll see it grow themselves and they will be so happy and appreciate that you don't ask for something today and tomorrow it is there. It also goes with the biblical saying, writing actually. It is written in the Bible actually. If you read Mark 4, uh, 28, it says, For the earth bringeth forth fruit of us herself, first the blade, then the ear, after that, the full corn in the ear. That will also make them know that the Bible is, uh, is truth. It's a good teaching for them that to know that what is written in the Bible is what we also experience outside here. So, I hope this avocado will grow, have fruits, then they will harvest, then they will appreciate that. You have to be patient to wait for something today's recipe is very nice actually it is rice lentils which we refer to as um we call it here as kamande so that is what i want to cook today it's very nice you will love it just try it so you just take kamande a glass or two and also rice a glass of uh, or two and uh, wash it well after washing fry your onions i have green onions that is what i'm using here so i've fried the green onions and then you add your always spices of your choice i have put paprika i've also grated uh, fresh garlic I've also grated fresh, uh, fresh ginger, which will give it another very nice taste. Then after that, put your kamande or lentils and then rice. Mix them like that. Then you pour hot water. You must add the heat so that it boils make let it boil for at least um, one minute then you reduce the heat to the minimum and let it cook for at least 25 minutes then you cut your fresh edania or parsley into pieces as it is cooking then when it is ready, you add your dania. 
but after you have stopped cooking it just put off the heat and then you put your dania then mix with it it will be a nice 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 meal for you mix well so that the dania is mixed evenly in your recipe I tell you, you will enjoy this meal. I've enjoyed it. You can take it with some fresh juice like I have done. I had some fresh oranges and that is what I have uh, uh, squeezed using my handmade machine. <laughs> yeah. It is manual but it uh, it is very very effective. I like it very much. So I just cut my oranges and then I squeezed. And I, I had my fresh juice, which I enjoyed with my what? My recipe. Please try it. You will love it. Don't cook the kamande first. No, don't. Just put them together. Just follow the instructions I have given. And then you are recipe will be very very nice the way you have seen it on the in the video actually i call it a vegetarian pilau so if you are missing pilau that is uh, cooked using meat here is an alternative and you will enjoy this one i tell you so that is it for today Thank you so much for watching again. Thank you so much for the comments again. Thank you, thank you so much for the thumbs up. If you like my videos, please share them with your friends, with your family, so that they can be also a blessing to many people. By that, you will really help me grow this channel that it can reach many and many people that can benefit from the recipes that I have. For now, thank you so much again. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.